Oh, my YouTube fans. How are you today? Well, thank you for tuning in today's vlog. If you're wondering what I'm doing down in the garage today, well, you can see what I have on the lawn track today. Uh, we're going to be checking the air filter and the spark plug and on uh, things and different accessories and stuff like that uh, for the actual Dremel to see if the air filter needs to be cleaned and also making sure the spark plug is also uh, gapped correctly uh, for this machine as well. The one thing you want to always keep with you is your owner's manual, the operating manual and stuff for this unit. It will tell you all sorts of different things to uh, clean the filter and also uh, check your spark plug every 25 hours. And every 10 hours you should clean uh, the filter, but you also have to add oil to the filter as well. And I will show you that uh, in the booklet as well. What you're going to need uh, for your trial build uh, trommel, your owner's manual, uh, this type of spark plug socket uh, removal. It is a, a 5 slash 8 uh, socket uh, removal tool of course fill gauge but you can also use a gapping uh, gauge as well and also a pretty neat uh, wrench socket removal wrench thingy and also you're going to need a flashlight just to check uh, the cylinder and stuff like that and also you're going to need some oil but this is actual engine oil, you don't want to use this for your filter, this is just there for demonstration. Go ahead and move these off the side. And actual, let's look over here. In the actual manual. This is why it's important to keep your manual. Now we'll show away your manuals. This is the one thing I'm going to zoom in and show you a little bit about this manual. Here is what my manual says about my uh, trimmel. Okay, the air filter should be uh, cleaned and add oil. And the spark plug should be checked every 25 uh, hours on the machine itself. Now, I'm going to flip this over. And look over here, here we have a little bit of a diagram of what the actual spark plug gap should be. We're going to bring it up a little bit close before you can see. See, there's the spark plug, and there is what we're after and what we actually are looking for to properly uh, gap the uh, spark plug as well. Now, the reason why I kept my manuals is to do a little bit of maintenance on it. And also, checking the filter is well. And that's one of the things we're going to be doing today, is checking the filter and also the spark plug on my machine. To get it ready uh, for uh, this year's uh, mowing and trimming season. Well, here is my trail built uh, unit and trimmel. We're going to be doing a little bit of maintenance to it, but not much. Uh, we're going to be checking uh, the air filter, spark plug, and I'm not going to worry too much about uh, the gas tank, but I think the filter should be fine. Uh, make sure the engine is cooled, not hot, when you are doing the, the tune-up or maintenance. And also, please make sure you disconnect the uh, spark plug boot, and just to be safe, and that's all. And on this side, this is considered the air box attached to the curb riddle. And of course, we somewhat do have a little bit of oil somewhat leaking out of here, but that's normal. That should be fine. I think it's just uh, a good idea to have good oil uh, on the system itself. Pull this out like this. Now you can see here is where everything kind of lays. Uh, on this machine. Very simple to take the uh, air filter out. And let's go ahead and take this off here without knocking the trim oil. 
and you could probably get a closer look. There's the air filter itself, and it looks okay. I might uh, clean it or, or not. It only pretends if it needs to be cleaned. Check the uh, filter. It looks good. I don't think it really needs to be cleaned right now. I don't have the 38 oil I need to put on the uh, filter assembly itself. And this is a very good trimmer, by the way. Um, the one thing we're going to do is check the spark plug. And this is what you need your socket and wrench for. Now, uh, one thing I dislike about this trimmer is this piece here where the uh, boot goes over the top. That's kind of a little pain in the, the butt to constantly remove. Now you really, really want to hold your trommel before you don't drop it. That's one that's pretty dang good. You should have this actual on a solid table or something when you're removing the spark plug. Now you can take the spark plug out. By using the spark plug tool. And here we have the spark plug. Uh, we're going to check that and see if it needs any replacements or any gapping. And the one thing you also want to check, just to make sure uh, it's nothing wrong with your engine, is somewhat just check the actual piston to see if it's any excess carbon on it and like I said it looks very very clean on the inside of the machine itself you can see right down now this little piston hole little spark plug hole where the piston is that looks uh, very clean and it doesn't have too much uh, carbon built up uh, on the uh, machine itself and that's uh, good for this uh, unit it's a couple years old but you know what when you do a little bit of maintenance and you take care of your equipment, these machines will last you a very, very long time without you constantly have to buy uh, new units uh, all the time. Do yourself a favor, do not buy uh, home-like uh, machines. Buy a good quality machine, a Huxley or even a steel or even a troil built uh, system. These will last you longer. And like I said, if you do the maintenance uh, on these units. Right. If you're going to be working on your uh, spark plug, make sure you have a clean surface to work on. Uh, get yourself maybe a, a paper towel or cardboard or something to have a clean old surface. Uh, take your fill gauge like this one or a gapping tool to properly gap the spark plug. Now this is an E3 spark plug I'm using. Sometimes this silly thing doesn't want to focus right. But yeah, it's an E3 16 uh, spark plug. There you go. That's what I use in my trommel. Now, I'm going to take my fill gauge and I'm going to look for the proper size uh, gap or fuel gauge should I say now on here I don't know if you're going to see it because it's steel yeah you ain't going to see it probably but I'm going to tell you what it is is uh, 0 0.025 that is the gap uh, for this spark plug we want to not direct it now you can see it's a little too tight and I'm going to have to fix that. That's not gap correctly. It means it's not sparking uh, correctly uh, for the machine. And I'm going to take a look at that as well. Uh, now we finally got the spark plug uh, gap correctly by using the fill gauge. But I know you can actually use uh, something a little different. And the one thing you never want to do is force the plug uh, inhale. But I did check it. That is the quick gap for it. And it seems to slip very nicely on the electrode and the ground electrode as well. 
that's how you kind of gap the uh, spark plug itself. Um, I think it might need replacing, but it looks pretty dang good for right now. I don't think I need to replace it just yet. Uh, I might in the future uh, replace it. But yeah, this is just how small spark plugs can be. A very tiny uh, a little spark plug uh, for this uh, weed eel. But yep, that's how you quickly gap and check the spark plug gap on your uh, weed eel or llama or, or chainsaw and stuff. Well, there you go. Now I'm going to put this back in the uh, machine and that's easy to do. Notice on what I did, I put a piece of tile here to keep any type of contaminants out of my machine. Now, doing the opposite is putting the spark plug back into the machine and also checking over and making sure you don't put any uh, remnants of any type of stuff inside the machine. Uh, well, this spark plug looks like it's about time to be replaced. But I think I could probably get a known uh, life out of it. I like to always hand screw these because you do not want to uh, cross thread these uh, little spark plugs in the, your machine. Now, you do not want to over tighten the spark plugs. You just want to snuggle them. And that's about it. That's all you do. Let's just give them a little bit of tighten, and that's it. Now you put your poop back over, you're done to go. You check the uh, spark plug and you check the old filter. It's a couple of things I'm going to be doing. I might clean this uh, filter and replace the spark plug in my machine. Well, once you've gone over your manual and everything uh, on your machine and the recommendations and the type of gap and how to take care of your unit, this is why you should never show your manuals away. You should always keep your manuals somewhere safe and always go back to your machine or your manual and check all the different types of maintenance you're going to need uh, for your machine itself. Now, it's a lot of things different with every machine you buy. That's a two-cycled engine. Um, if you keep it maintained, like change of fuel lines, the fuel filter, uh, the oil filter, and also the spark plug, it should last you a very long time instead of having to go out and replacing the whole thing. But this is why I take care of my equipment because it will last longer. And if you don't uh, take care of any you to collect it, uh, well, you're going to end up with a horrible machine that's not going to run right and it's not going to work properly. But alright, if you're so brand new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button, leave a comment down below, please like, please share. Peace out, bye guys and girls, we'll hopefully see you in the next vlog. Peace out for your boy Chris, and have fun taking care of your machines. Make sure you leave your manuals. This is us saying, peace out.